All right, guys. So in this video, uh, we're doing a uh, unboxing of a Dutch oven, and this one that I just bought, this cupcake, is from Tramotina, and uh, um, it's a seven quart Dutch oven. And this one is their, I think, newer model. It's got Pristima, uh, which is a square designed Dutch oven with some textures um, on it. So. I mean, without further ado, I'm just gonna open up the box. This is shipped directly from their factory, okay? I bought this because um, three days ago, before Black Friday, um, I was looking at Dutch oven, and this one is actually selling for $100 on their website. And after Black Friday, I went there again, just to check out of curiosity, and the Prestima 7 quart is only selling for $59 with free shipping, which is crazy because they don't usually do free shipping um, with uh, things that's under $100. But this one with coupon, it was like $59, but it still says it's, you know, retails for $100. So it's a Black Friday deal for, you know, $59 plus tax shipped. So that's why I bought it and uh, looks pretty cool. Let's just try to open up the box and see what's inside. And it looks like it's two layers. So I'm going to get this out of the box first all right uh, I'm able to kind of open up this this cover on the top it's double layer boxing with extra pa uh, extra padding inside so in terms of uh, protection for shipping it's pretty good and amazingly I ordered this uh, like literally two days ago it got to me within two days from Texas and I live in Florida okay so this is like super fast shipping and uh, wow it's pretty heavy this lid so um, we thought about buying more expensive uh, Staub or Le Corset, uh, but those are just way too expensive it's $400 for a 7 quart um, bo from both of those uh, companies you know um, French made Dutch oven but this one I believe is made in China however I bought this one because uh, Tramatina is actually offering a limited lifetime warranty so that's all I want I just want my Dutch oven to work and uh, if it does chip then hopefully the warranty would actually replace it because for the most part those is not gonna have any issues cooking it's gonna retain heat just like any other Dutch oven the only concern I have is with uh, those uh, enamel coatings, which are kind of glass and they are actually prone to chipping uh, the more you use it, the more you cook with it, okay? But this is uh, looks pretty good. Let's take it out and I'm going to remove all the packaging after this and we'll continue with the video, okay? All right, so I, I got the bowl out and this is what it looks like. Now again, the reason I bought this one is because uh, of the self-basking um, rib ribs over here that helps with even cooking. Uh, my wife specifically said she needs one of those Dutch ovens with self-basking uh, ribs. And this one does have it. And uh, this is a white color, okay? I quickly went through the instructions, basically, it tells you that those enamel are actually a glass coating so they're just as fragile as glass but they're extremely durable and also you need to use nylon silicone and wood utensils and avoid metal utensils when you're scratching the bottom out doing whatever that you need to do because that actually according to the instruction uh, use of high heat may void the warranty and uh, damages the cooking surface and, vo uh, and, and void the warranty. So basically you, you can only use soft utensils and you can only use low to medium heat on this cookware to uh, get that limited lifetime warranty that they claim that they offer, okay? And the company looks like for the USA is based in Sugarland, Texas, which is not far from uh, Houston, okay? So um, in terms of the internal surface, um, coating the enamel on the internal you can see the texture okay so it's not you know a super smooth texture um, on the on the internal um, but this bowl the seven quart is absolutely gigantic okay I know it doesn't look big in camera but the seven is probably you know the largest uh, that I would feel comfortable using on our stovetop right there okay um, and the bottom feels like a eight 
9 inch bottom. Uh, the top actually is a nice, beautiful square looking top uh, with a square lid. I'm gonna close the lid, make sure don't drop it. However, there's one thing that I don't really like is the um, the actual enamel that's used outside. It feels like a cheaper grade enamel that's like a matte finish and it just doesn't look as thick and as smooth as some other enameled cookwares. Okay, I'm gonna try to find another cookware from Lodge. Um, it's a five quart Dutch oven uh, that we had for smaller cooking, but we have the seven quart because sometimes we need to cook a lot more stuff. And that's the reason we bought this, but I, I want to just do a quick comparison side by side. So you, you see what I talk about the enamel on the exterior of the uh, Tramatina. The five quart that we had is not from uh, Lodge, it's from a company called Smith & Clark. I think we bought this at uh, TG Maxx when it was on sale uh, for like, as you can see, the Christmas decoration. So the enamel on this one is much better feel, like much smoother. Smoother means easier to clean compared to the Tramatina which have this cheap looking matte finish on here. It just looks very cheap, okay, trust me. Um, doesn't scream quality. Uh, however, this, this lid is actually metal, so that was quite nice. And it's nicely polished, brass metal looking uh, lid. And it's secured, it's actually, it looks like it's internally secured. Uh, so hopefully it's easy to yeah, it's hopefully it's easy to replace if it has, ever gets broken. But I'm looking at other lids. So this one, we use this to the max. And that's the reason we need another seven quart. It's because we use this. This is from a company called Bella. It's a very budget, low budget Dutch oven. We got this on sale for like $15. And uh, wow, and we use it to cook quite a lot of things. Uh, there's no rust. However, the reason we need to replace it is the enamel has faded away, as you can see. On the top, the enamel is gone. And on the bottom, the enamel is chipped. This one, I don't think it's got a lifetime warranty. So um, we, are inten we are intending to recycle this Dutch oven because it's cast iron and just use this instead, okay? But just to show you guys the exterior coating, that we are used to, which is those kind of like glossy glass coating. Um, this one is chipped, obviously. So we have this and we kind of abuse this one. So it's being, you know, roughly handled. However, it worked till the last minute where the bottom cracked. This one, we use it quite a lot also for smaller cooking. But as you can see, the scratch is already starting to develop. This one is not a crack. It's just a black looking scratch but there's no cracking on the bottom. So it's still perfectly fine. Also the self basking ribs, also there's no sign of deterioration as opposed to the seven quart uh, over there. But that's what I'm talking about. The exterior enamel coating, I much prefer the glossy one for easier cleaning for the exterior at least. This one, the top and the bottom are all like this is very rough. It actually doesn't even look good with this kind of a, um, a nice texture. It looks nice in the picture, but if you look closely, this just looks cheap. Okay, it looks very cheap. Um, yeah, I am, to be honest, I'm actually a little bit disappointed uh, by the texture and uh, the coating on here. It's, and it's very thin. Like you can literally see the, um, some of the area the cast iron is kind of exposed. So it's like a thin spray coating on the exterior. Hmm. And it's made in China, of course, uh, because it's not that expensive. Um, so yeah, um, with the limited lifetime warranty, yes, we're gonna try our best to use low and medium heat when doing you know, slow cooking and things like that. Um, but let's see how well it lasts. This is obviously the unboxing video. Uh, so I can, I'm able to show you guys some of the detail and the construction of this, um, of this cast oven. But to be honest, the internal um, enamel also seems to be not as thick. Um, 
Uh, this one it's almost feels like same thickness um, as our $15 Bella. Um, but yeah, hopefully if it cracks, we can try to use the warranty service. But with general care, hopefully most of the Dutch oven is gonna last for years. Now, that one that's cracked, uh, we've had it for at least, uh, I would say five, six years now with uh, pretty regular cooking, okay? This one we had it for about, uh, I think a year or two and uh, it's still working. Cast iron wear, in my opinion, shouldn't be super expensive because it's a very cheap material, okay? Um, and uh, for a $60 on a seven quart, I think it's a good price. Um, and also on top of a limited lifetime warranty. So definitely usable. Um, appearance wise, it's not the best looking. It, it's way below the level of Le Corset or Staub uh, coating and appearance. When you look at this, it just feels cheap because of that very thin um, exterior enamel that's being applied and also the uneven texture on those rib. Like I kind of like this texture, however, that paint actually totally ruins this texture. So that's our first impression. The handle shape is nice, uh, kind of easy to grab and there are plenty of area to grab it. And, um, but I still feel like a traditional smooth handle is much better to handle to, uh, the handle is better to handle, okay, compared to this one. It's not very comfortable because there is a kind of raised area that's kind of like digging into your hand. So the handle design is designed for appearance. It's not designed for usefulness, if you ask me. Um, so that's it. That's the initial impression and unboxing. Um, I hope you guys found this unboxing helpful. If you are also in the market looking at this on sale, uh, you know, you're still in the fence about buying it. Uh, I would say buy it. Uh, not with too much expectation for the appearance, but with a lifetime warranty, um, I think it's gonna be a, you know, 60 some dollars well spent. That's gonna last you for a couple of years. And if, you know, there's ever warranty issue, you can always go back to them and file a warranty and they hopefully send you a replacement, right? Um, in terms of appearance, no. In terms of durability, up to test, and we will update you guys if it ever, you know, have any issues. But otherwise, it should last. Most cast iron wear should last. All right. So thanks again, guys, for watching this video. Um, do subscribe and uh, like the video if you found it helpful. And I should have more similar videos coming out for you guys. Thanks again. See you in the next video. Take care.